Hey, this is Jordan from Zero to Hero Muscle, and in today's new training video, you're going to learn why being a hater is causing you to be a failure. The contagious and cancerous hater effect is a disease that infects and enslaves most guys these days. And that's why most guys these days are average zeros. Do not be one of them. Now this lesson is taken right from my upcoming training course, Zero to Hero, the muscle building blueprint for skinny guys. So if you haven't signed up for my priority wait list, make sure you click the link on your screen and add yourself to my email list before we run out of spaces. It only takes a few seconds. Now get ready to learn and enjoy this exclusive free training video. Ask yourself and be honest, have you ever been a hater? We all have at some point, at least once in our lives. What I want to talk about today is why. Why are there so many haters and why do they all hate in the first place? Let's start off with some examples. Take any person who has been massively successful in their lives with whatever they've done. Let's say as a bodybuilding inspiration, you look up to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Guys, a lot of guys, instead of acknowledging his massive amounts of success, will cite some ridiculous, obscure thing he's done to try and discredit him. You know, they'll be like, oh, he only looks that way because he took steroids. Oh, this, oh, that. Not that I condone steroid use in any way, but taking steroids isn't just going to magically give you the body of your dreams. You still have to get off your ass and put in the work in your training and your nutrition in order to transform. And that's what he did. Yet, still tons of haters out there. I mean with anyone successful like that. Do you hear most guys say, all right, this guy obviously knows what he's doing. I'm going to try to learn what he did to become so successful so I can do the same for myself. Do most guys say that? No, most guys hate. They try and discredit their success. Oh, he's just lucky. Oh, he only got ripped because he has the best genetics. Oh, he must spend hours in the gym and eat nasty bland foods. What kind of life is that? Is it really worth it? I'd rather be happy. You know, stuff like that as if we're all unhappy and as if it takes complete misery in order to achieve these things. And guys are gonna do the same thing to you once you transform. Oh, he must live in the gym in order to look like that. What kind of life is that? Why do so many guys do this? Well, the reason why is because it's a way for guys to make themselves feel better about themselves by trying to rationalize how inferior or how ungreat great people are. Because seeing successful people reminds them how unsuccessful they are themselves. The majority of guys today hate on great people because they themselves are ungreat, average zeros, and they themselves don't have the discipline for what it takes to bust their ass and be successful. So instead of trying to step up and rise up to the challenge, they just try and discredit everyone in an attempt to make themselves look better and feel better about themselves. Like social crabs in a bucket. It's really sad, isn't it? It's the type of mentality that makes an average zero stay an average zero. That's not something I want to happen to you. If you've got friends like this in your life, I would make some serious considerations for assembling a new social circle. The hater effect is as contagious as a cold and you don't want to be anywhere close to it. The two biggest factors that nobody talks about that will heavily impact the success of your transformation is your mentality and especially your tribe, your social circle. You wanna become a superhero? then stop hanging around average zeros and assemble your superhero squad. You'll see yourself stop hating and start embracing. Protect yourself from the hater effect like you'd protect yourself from an STD. 
because once you get a bad case of it, you'll only be screwing yourself. Never, and I mean never, be the first person to point out someone else's flaws, especially if they're successful. Never even do it, period. Just respect that person's achievements. Have you built as much muscle as Arnold Schwarzenegger? Have you been as successful as the people you're hating on? No? Then shut up. If you feel yourself falling into that hater mindset, take a step back and reframe your mentality. Instead of hating on someone successful for being bigger than you, being more fit and shredded than you, being more successful than you, or whatever it may be, instead of coming from the average zero hater type mentality by trying to discredit success, Reframe your mind to think in a superhero type mentality and try to rise up and achieve that level of success, even surpass it. You can make all the excuses in the world for why you can't, but the reality is the only thing that's stopping you is yourself. When you change your mind, you can change anything you want about your life, your body, your health, your wealth, your love, your relationships, anything and everything. Don't sabotage your success and hold yourself back by being a hater. Drop the hater attitude, achieve success, surpass your competitors, and keep moving forward. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive lesson taken directly from my upcoming training course, Zero to Hero, the muscle building blueprint for skinny guys. Again, if you haven't signed up for my priority wait list, make sure you click the link on your screen and add yourself to my email list right now before we run out of spaces. It literally takes just a few seconds. So do that right now and I will see you in the next training video.